Hundreds of paratroopers dropped out of near cloudless skies over a heath in the central Netherlands on Saturday to commemorate the 80th anniversary of one of World War II's most daring but ultimately unsuccessful missions, Operation Market Garden. Paratroopers from the Dutch Air Mobile Brigade and 12 other NATO nations took part in a series of jumps over Jinkel Heath, watched by a small group of World War II veterans and some 60,000 spectators. One of the soldiers involved, 99-year-old Jeff Roberts, was among 12 World War II veterans present on a warm fall day. For Operation Market Garden, he arrived in the nearby village of Wolfies a day before the mass drops at Jinkel Heath. Well, I landed at Wolfies in a glider and our next job was to capture this area for the people to come in the following day. After days of heavy fighting, he was taken prisoner and sent to work in a coal mine in Czechoslovakia. He was 20 years old when he returned home at the end of the war. Operation Market Garden was an audacious plan that aimed to seize back key bridges and roads from Nazi occupiers of the Netherlands so that Allied forces in Belgium could advance into the industrial heartland of Germany and bring the war to a swift end. It involved dropping nearly 35,000 paratroopers behind enemy lines using an aerial armada of gliders and other military planes. But stiff German resistance and stretched supply lines scuppered the plan as the Allies failed to hold a key bridge across the Rhine at Arnhem in a battle immortalized in the book and star-studded 1977 movie, A Bridge Too Far. About 11,500 Allied troops died in the nine days of Operation Market Garden, more than then during the D-Day landings in France two months earlier. The British 1st Airborne Division led the airborne assault. Paratroopers from the U.S. Army's 101st and 82nd Airborne Divisions and Poland's 1st Independent Parachute Brigade also were dropped into the Netherlands. The top general for U.S. forces in Europe, General Christopher Cavalli, told the Associated Press that the way those countries fought together laid down a bedrock for the NATO alliance. It's the spirit that we build on, right? It's the spirit of cohesion that infuses the alliance today, Cavalli said. The terrible events of the past couple of years have brought the alliance together, which is exactly what an alliance is for. It comes together in times of trouble, he added. It comes together and builds on the bonds of the past. And you can feel that at a commemoration like this today, you feel the spirit of that alive. Saturday's drops came just over a week after a tiny Dutch village remembered becoming the first settlement in the Netherlands to be liberated from German occupation. While parts of the southern Netherlands were recaptured by allies in 1944, the major cities and other areas had to wait months and endure a winter famine before their occupation ended. Bring the flag to this historic location 
that General Hackett and his third brigade landed in 1944. And now, 80 years later, this. Well, I landed a wallpaper in a glider. But then my ne our next job was to capture this area for the people to come in the following day. Well, it's the spirit that we build on, right? It's the spirit of cohesion that infuses the alliance today. Um, quite to the contrary, I don't think the bonds are under strain today. The bonds are stronger inside a North Atlantic Treaty Organization than I've seen them in 37 years of service. They truly are. Um, the, uh, the terrible events of the past couple of years have brought the alliance together, which is exactly what an alliance is for. It comes together in times of trouble. It comes together and builds on the bonds of the past. And you can feel that at a commemoration like this today. You feel the spirit of that alive, and it gives you great, great optimism for the future.